So you can see over my shoulder here, um, this is one of the systems that was a pretty big undertaking um, as far as engineering and planning, uh, finding all the right parts to, uh, to implement it. But essentially this is how I've been heating water uh, through the winter. Uh, we've had this installed, I wanna say sometime late September. Um, so this is a 16 gallon tank. Uh, right now it's, it's wrapped with uh, some insulation here. But essentially, you can kind of see up top there um, some of the thermostats. And I don't know if you can hear the water running. Uh, the pump's on right now. Um, that's the pump we have for it. Um, so essentially, this runs out into the... Uh, oh, fun, fun, fun spiders. Uh, this runs out into the compost pile. We have two, uh, two layers of hoses and um, basically the water just circulates in a circle through the t um, uh, through a spiral in the compost pile and um, comes back heated so it's PEX tubing uh, we use the white PEX tubing and um, it runs back out and I'll show you all the outside stuff but essentially um, this is how the water gets heated and um, right now the compost pile is pretty mellow it's maybe 80 degrees 80 to 90 maybe 100 degrees um, and the water coming through right now is about 90 um, which isn't cold it's nice to wash stuff with 90 degree water versus like 50 60 degree water so that was less less enjoyable but essentially this is the book uh, that we used I got this book years ago and um, my uncle has the the brains and the engineering and you know the pieces uh, he was able to put it all together for me so that's that's pretty cool um, because it wasn't wasn't an easy undertaking that's for sure um, and I will say, like everything else that's done here, there are no drawn up plans for this. I'm probably going to get requests for, hey, do you have plans for that? Do you have, do you, what, what are the schematics? What are the specifics? I know it works and that's good enough for me <laughs> because I have too many other, too many other thing, other things going on. And, um, I just needed this to come to fruition and um, my uncle did that for me so uh, that's that's good enough for me um, I will show you what I can but uh, this I don't know a lot of the schematics of it so um, I'll show you some of the details though uh, some of the fittings uh, we have two valves here so this is an upper valve with a hose so it can run into the sink that I have right here and this is uh, just another lower valve. Um, and I have kind of a plastic sink, if you will, so I can wash my hands with this lovely hand soap. Here you can see the pipe. Uh, the corrugated pipe is where all the uh, hose work comes in here. And so the temperatures we have about 100 on this side. So this is the lower um, section of hose, and this one looks about to be 95. That one's the upper section. And this is the fill hole is there that void and looks like it's running a little bit slower through the top one and this here is the overflow hose that just comes down 
drains. Uh, but then this is how it all kind of cycles around these outside valves. That is the pump on off switch. This is the pump in question. Okay, so we're outside of the plastic room here. Uh, so that's where it all comes in. Follow Excuse me, bud. And this is this is where all the heat's coming out of right now. So it's kind of interesting. Um, this pile was rebuilt on February 13th this year. Uh, today's May 17th or 18th. I can't remember the date, but it, you know, it's been three months and um, there's still heat coming out of this pile, which is pretty remarkable. It did cool off a little bit, but um, now that the ambient temperature, so we're looking at the lower temperature is, um, that's the inside barn temperature. So it's 56 degrees in the barn right now. It is 59 degrees outside. And then we have this thermostat here. So the pipe, there's a, th there's a thermostat in the corrugated pipe and that's telling me it is 90.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and basically this was added to the system um, for those really cold, cold nights. We didn't want anything to freeze up. So um, the other thing here is I have this set to run on a timer. So this is the timer. Um, and that took a little bit of um, coordinating. I still don't know if I have it figured out because there are a lot of factors and I don't, I don't know a lot about thermodynamics, but essentially the thermostat here will override whatever the timer is doing. So if for whatever reason, the temperature drops below 38, the pump will kick on, warm up all the water, all the pipe till it gets back up to 38 degrees. Um, and that, that way it's just warm enough to not freeze up and cause damage. Okay, so there is some trial and error that had to happen with the system because I don't know um, enough about thermodynamics. 
shocking as that may seem. Um, and there are so many variables that are changing. Um, it was difficult to get it timed correctly. So um, I didn't want to tax the pile too much and draw too much heat out of it. So I would run the blower for 15 minutes every two hours. Uh, and then the uh, water pump would run for 15 minutes right after that. And then everything would just be still for half an hour. Um, and I would do that for like a block, like right before I would show up so that the water would be warm enough for us to use it right after we were in the, uh, in here doing work, we would need the hot water. Otherwise you just have hot water sitting there all the time. Um, but I also think it's helpful to kind of cool the pile off occasionally too, because it would get really hot and this would kind of keep an equilibrium. Um, so, and the time of year will uh, impact it. Uh, the weather outside impacts it. If it's hot, if it's really dry, if it's too wet, it's all so many variables. And I, uh, I just kind of have to adapt to them because I don't know how to quite predict how to, um, how to work with those variables. So I just react. Um, there's virtually nothing I can do to be proactive about it. Um, but I think it has been a really useful system. It's helped me out tremendously. Um, and I think it's pretty cool that there is no other electricity being used to do this other than the blower for the fan and for the pump that pulls the water through. Um, it's just bacteria that's heating the water through this piping system. So that's pretty cool. And um, it was a project that I was really hoping we could get done. And luckily I have a really mechanically minded uncle who likes to problem solve and likes fun challenges. So um, he took this on and got it implemented. And uh, we have rebuilt this pile. Um, so we had to uh, uh, change the fittings and it was as simple as just cutting the tubes um, and then doing uh, new fittings to, as we reassembled the pile. So um, yeah, I think the hottest temperature I had running through this was 135 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, that's hot water. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll hurt your fingers for sure. Um, but even like having 100 degrees running through this now makes a huge difference versus like 60 degrees when you're trying to wash 40 buckets at a time. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's, that's the system here. Um, again, one big circle, one big loop. And, uh, I want to see what we could do for another one. Um, it would be cool to have a compost water heater hot tub. I think that would be pretty, pretty rad. Um, but that's, a project for another year I think <laughs> so anyway um, thanks for watching again because uh, yeah keep it circular